Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Game one of the American League Division Series. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Now up for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau. And a ball and two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Now batting Wander Franco. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Two outs, base is empty. Austin Meadows next to hit for the Rays. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound. Sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone. And when he has to, fill up. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Back in New York. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Lau collects it. On to first. One up, one down. So up next, Aaron Judge. Good contact guy, good defender. And the pitch. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plate discipline as well. The wind of the pitch. And Judge spoils that one. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And he chases that one. Out number two. And now it's Joey Gallo. 1-1 one, one now. There's the strike. Righty delivers. And fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Yanks go quietly. Top of the second. Now it's Randy Rosarena. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Next one is off the plate, and it's a full count. The wide to kick the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Got him. One out in the second. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Left-hand hitter waits. This one in the air, center field. Picks. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Yandy Diaz now. No score here in the second. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Inside just missed. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Here's Manuel Margot. 
Pitch misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. And a swing and a miss there. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Back at Yankee Stadium. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Not in time. He's got a double. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And there's one down. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Stanton leads off second with one gone in the inning. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. 2-1 Two now. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away. Now here's Aaron Hicks. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Up the middle. Gets it to first. And that is the inning. top half of the third inning and now the catcher for the Rays Mike Zunino here's a 1-1 that one missed all right so Monument Park out there in center field at Yankee Stadium have you gotten a chance to check that out I have seen it more after my playing career than I did as a player but as a broadcaster many times entering and exiting through the center field fence particularly in the playoffs get a chance to take a glimpse over and I got to say you do get some goosebumps and yeah, the right hater deals and now the count filled up three and two here comes a pitch Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. And now it's Brandon Lau. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. On the ground to the left. Loves it on the dive. Fires to first. And they get the out. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. So now one and two. That 
one ripped. Makes a nice running catch. One down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The pitch. Back to right. Margot in position. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Two and one on Judge. And that one cutting but missing down low. Next offering is fouled back. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. And that one fouled off. Three, two on the way. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Start of the fourth. Here's Wander Franco. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Judge is there. And there's one down. Here is Austin Meadows. The Rays still looking for their first hit in this one. Laced into left. That's a base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Gallo returns it to the infield. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Go ahead, run on base. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Randy Arozarena. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering is in for a strike. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi. Runner at second, two down. And now it's even up. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now it's filled up. Kicks and fires. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Yandy Diaz, next to hit for the Rays. The pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Throw on to Rizzo. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back now in the Bronx. Ready to go. Bottom four. Stepping in, Joey Gallo. Here's a 1-1.
Foul ball there. Left hand batter waits. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 2 2. And down on strikes he goes. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugger too. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left center. Kiermaier under this one and puts the squeeze on that two away two outs base is empty and now Josh Donaldson right hander kicks deals pretty good job on the mound in this one Siggy it feels like we've seen a lot of off balance swings yeah just one free pass and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy but he gets soft contact and he gets out. Fly ball down the line. Margot, long run. Can't get there. Base hit. So two down. And here is Glaber Torres. And a pitch. Squirts away a little bit. He's in there. Runner leads away at second. On the ground to short. Franco picks it up. Rolls across the diamond. And Glaber Torres retired. That ends the inning. Back in the Bronx. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Here's a 1-1. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hicks pulls it down. And there's one down. Here's Mike Zanino. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. And that misses off the outside edge. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. 3 2 now. High in the air, out to right. Judge is under it. Calls it in, two away. Lau at the plate. A one one and yeah, that's outside two outs and a swing and a miss well oh, that's today's style of baseball right there right big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate two two stays alive two two now that's down and in. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the catch inning over. We head to the bottom of the fifth. It's Aaron Hicks now.
and he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. pitch on the ground right side and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth well he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate ball to strike The other way, and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Ben Workvet stepping in now for the Yankees. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. The 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Racing makes the catch. That is the inning. All set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in for the Rays, Wander Franco. Next pitch is outside. And a count two and one. And the righty deals. Ripped to right, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Randy or Rosarena, next to hit for the Rays. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Next offering is in for a strike with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now up for Tampa Bay, G-Man Choi. He's 0 for 1. Franco off of first with two away. That one hit to right. Judge cutting across. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Well, we go bottom six. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And a 1-1. And he hits a ground ball right side. Lau sends it to first. Rizzo out of the play. And up next for New York, Aaron Judge. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And a pitch. Fought off foul. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. The pitch. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. The next offering misses. Two and one. And here it comes. Just off the outside part of the plate. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Hard hit. Right side. 3-2 now. Foul ball. Kicks and deals. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Back 
in the Bronx. Top of inning number seven. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. And a pitch. And that one in the air center field. Picks. Moving back for this one. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Next pitch is outside. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Zunino. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. That one down the line, and that's just foul. And the right-hander deals. Check swing, appeal to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 2-2 now. Hit hard on the ground is short. Fires across the diamond. Out number three. Bottom of the seventh. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Here's a 1-1. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. Tosses to first, one away. Big time out leading off the home seven. And the batter now, Josh Donaldson. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. And that's ball three. On the ground to third, and foul ball. And that's ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Here's Glaber Torres. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. The kick, the 3 2. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Here's Aaron Hicks. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. And down on strikes. And that's the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium. Here's a big power threat. Brandon Lau. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hicks is there for it. And out number one on the grab. Wander Franco digs in now. One for three. Next offering misses. And that's ball two. And 
and that's outside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. To the right side, into the outfield, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. So a lefty out of the pen, Lucas Lickie. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Yankees, number 63, Lucas Lickie. One down, runner at first. Next is the designated hitter, Austin Meadows. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And there's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Randy or Rosarena, the next to hit. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The pitch. Slice to right, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Go ahead, run. Holds up at third as the ball comes back in. Second and third after the double. Been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands. You... Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they take a two-run lead. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now the lefty hit pretty well in the air out to center. Hicks makes the grab, and that is the inning. And that's the third out. New pitcher now, J.T. Shagwa. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. here in New York ready for the bottom of the eighth and stepping in for the Yankees Isaiah Kiner Falefa right-handed reliever that clips the corner the Yankees looking to rally righty to the plate in the air pretty deep out to center field Kiermaier right there to make the grab and there's one away Ben Wortvet stepping in now for the Yankees. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. And that one lifted in the air center field. Kiermaier ranging back. Two down. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees for the fourth time tonight. Swing and a high fly ball to left. A Rosarena has a beat on it. And that is that. Now on the bump, play Holmes. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance.
New inning getting started. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. One, two to Margot. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Mike Zunino next to hit for the Rays. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. The pitch. Swings through that one. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Swings and misses. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Two outs, base is empty. Kevin Kiermeyer now at the plate. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Next offering is foul back. But why to kick the pitch? Right side. He handles it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. Andrew Kittredge will take over here, trying to protect this lead. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now the batter now, Aaron Judge. Now all leave it up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Here's Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Out towards right center field. Kiermaier gets under it. He's got it. And there's two away. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next pitch misses way outside. At the belt and fires. That one drifts inside. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Here comes a 3-2. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us.
game tonight for the victorious Rays. Two runs, seven hits.